Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. I am sure that you have heard of BERT if you have been dealing with language models for some time. BERT stands for Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformer and it is a type of model which was developed by Google. In simple words, BERT is a pre-trained language model that helps computer understand human language better. BERT was first introduced in 2018 by Google researchers Jacob Teflin, Ming, Kenton Lee and Christina. At the time, it was a groundbreaking model that achieved state-of-the-art results on several natural language NLP tasks. Before BERT, most NLP models relied on recurrent neural networks or RNNs or long short-term memory LSTM networks to process sequential data. But these models had limitations when it came to handling long-range dependencies and context. BERT changed the game by introducing a new architecture based on transformers, which was originally designed for machine translation tasks. The transformer architecture allowed BERT to process input sequence in parallel rather than sequentially which made it much faster and more efficient. Modern BERT is a variant of the BERT model that's designed to be more efficient and effective. It's trained on a massive data set of 2 trillion tokens, including both text and code, which makes it suitable for a wide range of tasks. BERT or this modern BERT is also a masked model or MLM. A masked model, also known as masked language model, is a type of model that's trained to predict missing or masked tokens in a sentence. It's like filling in the blanks of a sentence. We will also install this masked model, modern bird, locally and we will see one example with the masked input. One concept I still want to uh, stress upon a bit more is around multi-layer bidirectional transformer encoder. But let's first try to install this modern bird and then we will dwell on it a bit more. Before that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system. And this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment. And now let's install CUDA. And now let's install transformers from source and also the torch of course. While it happens, also I wanted to tell you that modern BERT's native long context length makes it ideal for tasks that require processing long documents such as retrieval, classification and semantic search within larger corpora. The model was trained on a large corpus of text and code making it suitable for wide range of downstream tasks. Also it is available in two sizes. One is modern bird base which has 22 layers and 149 million parameters whereas we will be installing modern bird large which has 28 layers and 395 million parameters. So seems like a quite a good choice in terms of if you just want to play around with the BERT architecture because it, it also supports long context, quite efficient and quite versatile as it deals with both text and code. So let's wait for these prerequisites to get installed. And there is an optional step of installing flash attention because it makes it really fast. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Another thing about this model is that it is a multi-layer bidirectional transformer encoder, which means that it is like a powerful tower that looks at input data from both direction, processes it through multiple layers. Plus it also uses self attention mechanism to understand the whole context and semantic of the model. Let's also launch our Jupyter Notebook and we will download the model and we will play around with it. And now let's download the model. And I'm just using the pipeline from Hugging Face, importing it and then downloading that modern bird 
maybe i'll just go with a large one on this one let's see how it goes so instead of base i'll just go with a large and you can see that the model is being downloaded it is quite a small model as you can see even in the large one also towards uh, as it downloads also try to understand what is multi-layer bi-directional transformer encoder multi-layer means that the model has many layers and each layer processes the input data in a specific way and the output from one layer is passed to the next layer bi-directional means that the model looks at the input data from both directions left to right and right to left it's like reading a sentence from both ends to understand the context better and then it is transformer encoder which means that it is specifically designed for natural language processing <clears throat> task and it uses self-attention mechanism to weigh the importance of different words in a sentence the so model is almost downloaded and it is loaded onto the gpu and now let me show you how exactly to do the inference now it's not a instruction tuned model or it's not preference aligned model it is sort of a base model so you have to fine tune it in order to make it a chat oriented model or you know test it out on various benchmark it is a pre-trained model which you can further fine tune on your own data for specific tasks but let me give you the example of the thing which i showed you earlier the masked model where we are giving it um, a mask and we are asking it to predict the missing token here so i'm just uh, piping it through and then displaying it so let me run this and there you go so it has made the prediction for the next token it's so we said he walked to the and then there was a mask it has filled in the blank with door he walked to the right he walked to the left river window and then it has also given us some of the tokens it used also let's try out maybe another one and we will also check out the vram consumption so I'm just saying she was feeling and then there is a mask. I'll run it. It was quite quick, but model is already loaded onto the GPU. Let's see. So it is consuming 1.54 gig of VRAM at the moment, which is not bad at all. It is saying she was feeling better and then feeling good, feeling fine, feeling great, feeling sick. Good stuff. Let's try out one last one. I'll just say the capital of Australia is it is Sydney nope Melbourne Adelaide so you see it's not fine-tuned on uh, but it has just its own repo from where it is taking the stuff and let's try one final one that. <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah well maybe one day may not missing yes that's one is correct so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this modern bird model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching